Brian Robertson knows full well what he's in for when he sees one of ODOT's real-time signs on the highway. I'm Brian Robertson. Uh, I have been a Portland commuter for over 30 years. When Brian hits the road in the morning, he looks at those signs and can tell if it'll be a routine day or if there's trouble ahead. When I see those real-time signs and it says it's uh, 142 minutes of Vancouver, I say to myself, thank God I don't live in Vancouver. <laughs> because, I mean, those, those are the people that are really suffering, the people driving from Southwest Washington, because they got it going both ways. You know, that I-5 between Portland and, and, and the river is just a bottleneck. There's just, there's just too many cars trying to come in and out. Today, real-time signs are sprinkled everywhere on the Portland area highways, and they're making a big difference. On Highway 217, for instance, crashes dropped by 21% in the first year after the Oregon Department of Transportation installed signs warning of slow traffic ahead. They give drivers travel times, congestion warnings, road conditions, and sometimes even the weather. They let drivers make better choices about where to go. Real time is a term we use for a broad range of things that are really about adapting to things happening right now on the system. Galen McGill manages ODOT's traffic tech solution called the Intelligent Transportation System. So adapting to the traffic patterns right now, adapting to a crash or a slowdown or even a slowdown in a specific lane right now, and being um, more responsive in real time to what's happening on the system. Real-time signs are just the beginning. The technology that's coming will give drivers and their vehicles more information and do a much better job at helping to keep the roads clear. Yeah, it's a fantastic area to work in. It's uh, every day's different, the, every year's different. The technology continues, continues to change. The things we can do uh, improves as technology improves. As you know, our world, you know, technology is continuing to evolve and so, as it evolves, we're applying those updates uh, to the transportation system, finding new ways to, to do things. So it's, it's a very fun and rewarding place to work in that, in that sense. And real-time signs are just the beginning. Already, some new Audi cars get real-time information about speed and traffic signals that give them green lights all along their route. It's part of the future when vehicles will talk to each other and parts of the road system to keep us all flowing more freely while keeping us a lot safer.